Today, throwing axes. Hey, what's up? Throwing axes day. Uh, there was a lot of talk on, I've seen on Reddit and Walcom and Captain Xavier and all of them, they're all with their throwing weapons and all that good stuff and I need to get in on it because I love throwing weapons. So, well, especially throwing axes, those are my favorites. So, today is going to be a really easy project today. We're going to be cutting this sucker open on both ends, we're going to be adding washers. This should be safe considering how thick this stuff is and it's only going to be used to add weight to it because these things fly like idiots. Well, that one flew straight. Well, let's try a couple more just because. Wow, that was bad. See, look at that. That just veered right off. So, I'm hoping that this is going to rectify that and make it an actual viable weapon and still safe. So, what you're going to need, exacto, a couple of washers that I had lying around. You could use whatever you like. Uh, some epoxy putty, I got some Loctite, and that's pretty much it. Maybe something to mix your epoxy with on a paper that you don't need no more. So, let's be off with it. Alright, we're going to make an incision right here. I'm using a really crappy X-Acto blade because I can't find my others. I've gone about as far as I can go and you're going to want to measure to figure out your diameter for where you're going to cut. So the longest parts are going to go across the longest parts so you have to make it big enough so it can fit. Ta-da! It can fit. But that's only halfway there so I brought out a knife. That's fully embedded, but the very tip is still out there and I want it deep enough so that there's enough cushion for the cushion. Now, I need enough cushion so that when I close it up and I hit somebody, there's enough give so that you aren't hurt by the by the washers inside. That is more than enough. There you can see the... So as you can see in there, right about there we got about a good half inch. This is pretty not heavy. When it gets to three, that's when I really feel the weight on it. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to make a difference. It... I don't have a scale on me, but that feels pretty damn not heavy. Time to cut the top half. We are going to cut right here. Right here would be bad because then it makes it off center because then it's going to go whoop 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 and it's going to create a giant scene for people to rave to. The web contest. Uh, yeah, right up here sounds good. So we're trying to make it perfect. Perfect! Oh, baby. Work this me. I guess I could go on the other side too, just to give it room to move. I hit something hard in there. Yeah. I can feel it right here. Well, specifically on this side, I can feel something in there. Oh, yeah, I can feel the... There's a big piece of rigid plastic in there. I guess I got it at the very tip, and I'm okay. So, let's see. 
Not right there, but it is right there. Hmm. Interesting. Will I be able to do this? I don't think so. It'll be hanging out at the top. The only other option I would have is to cut it out. Like, dremel out that piece to allow me to go further up because, that, like I said, it's going to throw it off. Ugh. I don't want to. I really, really, really don't want to. I really, really, really don't want to. The alternative would be getting uh, much smaller washers. Much smaller washers, and many of them. Um, it will bulge out right here. You're going to have to cut a bunch of foam on the inside, but it will, and there won't be any padding for right here, but you don't need padding for right here because it's going to be going this way. So that is an alternative. Let's just keep cutting. There we go. Same squishiness. Oh, it feels way better. This feels... This feels a lot heavier. It feels, not a lot heavier, but you can definitely tell the difference between what's what. All right. Time for a quick test. I don't care if I lose these washers if they come flying out. I just want to know how these things fly, and I bet you do too. All right, time for our throws. <sighs> the washers came out. Uh... I think I'm going to add more washers because that thing flew like garbage. Alright, four washers. Alright, so it looks like it was a complete failure. But I have one last trick up my sleeve. Uh, well, first to prevent everything from falling out before I put epoxy in there and for no reason at all because it doesn't work, I've got this uh, binder clip, it's the biggest one that's available. We're just going to throw that sucker on there to keep this thing closed, keep them from leaving. Let me just take these off. Alright, so this is operating on three washers, that's on four washers. This ain't closed, but it doesn't look like they want to go anywhere this thing will offset the weight by the other washer that is not there and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it backwards this way it seems that the uh, this little blade here uh, it doesn't like the wind resistance especially because it's very uh, very soft very thin malleable and this has all the heft into it. So, the theory is, is that by throwing it this way, this creates a fin instead and allows it to fly better. Because it will, won't be trying to cut into the wind and go, uh, 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 which is, I feel, the whole reason it was going all over the place in the first place. So, there we go. We throw it this way. It should be fine if somebody gets hit like that. That's no problem because all the stuff is over here in the back. Can we get hit right here? Eh, possibly. But like I said, we've got enough padding in there that we don't have to worry about nothing. This is pretty much on there too. I just removed the clips really easy. Just squeeze and move. And let's go check it out. All right. Testing backwards throw with the binder clip. Well, I don't know about you, but I call that a success. Uh, I didn't want to throw it as hard as I could, and it looks like they came out the back end because there was just so much force, which means we can move on to stage two. I'm going to leave four in there and four in there and glue it up, and let's see how it flies after that. All right, now we're just going to disassemble the thing, put some epoxy in there, and we're set.
All right, time to insert all this stuff and get going. I'm not so sure epoxy putty is the right idea for this one. Uh, I want to use rubber cement, but this is not rubber, but it allows for the elasticity. Hmm. I don't know what I'd use to close this thing up. Uh, epoxy is going to get hard, but the sponginess, uh, I really don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out. We're just going to have to see. Liberally apply. All right, that's been liberally applied. Time to close it up. The binder clips work very well. Cool, on to side two. Alright, so the other side seems to have closed up nicely, and we're going to use this one to pincer this one down too. Right after we clean it off. So it looks like something out of a hentai. We're just going to fast forward to when this is dried sufficiently and we'll do another range test. Range test? We don't even need range tests. We know how far this thing can throw. It's like maybe 25 feet. We're gonna see how well this throws. We're gonna have a throw test. Man, I love it with four in there. Okay, so if I didn't, if you didn't see it already, there's four here, four there. I don't know how much that weighs. I really don't care. All I care about is that it has heft to it, it's safe, and it throws properly. So without further ado, let's go to the throw test. All right, it's cured and everything. Now we're gonna have the reverse throwing test. Let's see. All right. So you can see, it flies a lot better. It's starting to tear and hit stuff. So use on the grass or make sure that you don't hit anything, anything hard, like a brick wall. So I think I call it a success. It flies pretty well. And now, now is the damage test. Okay. You don't know how to throw an axe? Oh. Throw it backwards. Backwards? Yes, because it's, it, it doesn't operate like a real axe. There you go. Jesus Christ. Something to be said for accuracy. There we go. That kind of hurt, sort of. Like you said, we're using the back end. Yeah, use the back end. Mm. That hurt. What are you, a bitch? Throw it! Throw it, goddamn you! Okay, that didn't hurt. As long as you don't hit the face. That should be fine. Ah! That kind of hurt, but not severely. Ow! <laughs> I'm possibly deadly. Alright, go ahead. Oh, watch my face. So there you go. You put in a reverse. You can have a reverse axe. Enough throws, enough hits, I guess it comes apart. My idiot assistant went and held on to it and made it come out. Or maybe it just likes to break at that at that part. Um it kinda hurts. 
like especially up close and if you throw really hard but you shouldn't have to throw really hard but I will be taking maybe one or two of the washers out so that it, it will lose a lot of its power of distance but it also lose power and pain um, it's held up surprisingly well except for this small minor malfunction I'm just gonna go and put epoxy on the inside of that I'm just gonna slather it right there and just slide right in there and it shouldn't come apart ever again So you actually got to see the little uh, plastic bar that goes into these little throwing devices. As for the epoxy, uh, it's held up really well. Uh, I, like I said, I glued this down. Let me straighten that out a little bit. There we go. Um, it's holding up great on, on both ends. Uh, the only caveat is clean up your mess. Don't put too much because... Like I said right there, there's it's oozed out right here, and it is substantially harder than the foam. So I don't know if that's what's actually hurt if I've been hit with it, but um, I recommend wiping it down as soon as you see goo popping out of there. Pain factor. Uh, like I said, hmm, I don't know. Hmm, that kind of hurts. Is, are the things in there? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it does hurt a bit. Yeah! I think there's not enough cushion for that, as I've just found out right now. So if you're, yeah, if you're hit with that end, that's gonna hurt because there is not enough cushion right there. Like, that's a, okay. Okay. Damn. Well, it hurts if you keep hitting yourself with it, but. Uh, I, I hit myself way too much for that. Okay, so what I think is I should put smaller uh, smaller washers and more of them. Would that makes sense? To create more of a cushion so that there's not as much uh, pain. Um, I did get smacked in the face and it wasn't pleasant, but I'm not going to go crying at the same time. But if you aim for the face, you're kind of a jerk. So, in darts or anything, I've got shot in the face, I've already complained about it multiple times. Like, I've got a plus bow to the face, uh, like seven feet away, and that is bullshit. Um, it's like, oh, sorry, but at the same time, it almost, like, I'm so glad I had eye protection because it, like, hit me right here. That could have $3,000 down the drain. Remember how I said I was going to finish those other two axes? Well, that's what this is. I think I'm going to need a lot more. Uh, why didn't I make more? Because it sets in five minutes, that's why. I went out to Home Depot, I got smaller washers. These are one eighth of an inch inner diameter and outer range is one inch. So it's a fourth of an inch off. may not seem like a lot, but it is definitely a lot. Um, instead of four washers, I put five washers to offset the extra fourth of uh, an inch loss in weight. I got a 25 pack of stainless steel and that was 328 I believe so it was like 350 after I was done with it 
So that, let me see, there's five, 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 five. So I have five uh, left over. I took five on each of these sides. Like I said, I tried to open the other one and to throw the five in there and adjust where the location is of the washers. And it just doesn't want to come out. All of the washers on this side, on the, on the handle, are in the back. So um, I can push all the way here and I'm not going to touch any washer. The washers are actually already in there. And um, you can, if you were to squeeze it, you can feel where the uh, plastic rod is. You will hit the plastic rod before you hit the, the washers. So this one is extremely safe now. Uh, this one right here, I cut open right here into the axe. I didn't go up on top of this. And they're sitting right here. If you can see, they're, it's kind of bulgy. That's where they are. I tried to make them in a... Uh, I tried to splay them. And uh, it, it really doesn't want to do that. But I tried my best because I wanted it to be as flat as possible and distribute the weight enough. And so I don't have to clamp it as hard. And it just prevents it from opening up. The less, the less it has to work, the better. So anyway, I've wasted enough time talking. Uh, yeah, you can actually see right there. It's like near the very back, because when you throw these, they're going to be backwards. It's going to go that way. Nothing right there. Oh yeah, that's right. There we go. Yeah, there you go. That was me. Holy shit! Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> ah! She's 20 feet away. Ah! Okay, so that was the pain test. Um, I mixed about this. I think I want to reduce the number of washers down to four instead of three, so it'll be even lighter than the previous build, which was four washers, but they were larger, but misplaced, so this is just all trial and error. I do like it, not for up close. I mean, if it's up close, I'm pretty sure you, you can throw these the way they are intended, or, well not really the way they are intended because they fly like garbage, but within, I would say 10 feet, if you wanted to throw these this way, that would be perfectly fine. If you want to go like 15, 20, 30, like, this will throw reliably at 30 feet. Close proximity, we were throwing it maybe like 20, 25 feet, my helper moved a couple feet back, 5 feet back, I moved 5 feet back. and. That's what you were seeing. So, it, as you saw, it progressively got farther away if you didn't already notice that. Uh, and I like these. So, like I said, I would probably pick up more and I put the four washers on each side instead of five. And I think it will be perfect. I would take this little piece off right here. I don't know if that was what was hitting me, but. Sometimes it would hit me like super hard. Let me see, let's... Hmm. Or was it? Yeah, you know what? I think it was mainly this part that was hitting me. I can't say for sure. I'd have to look at the tape. And I probably will, and I might actually uh, confirm or deny whether or not this would hit. But, like I said, <laughs> A grown adult. Oh. Uh oh. I can hear them moving in here. But they aren't going to move because this thing is epoxy super shut. But apparently they're loose enough that they can actually rattle. So I can pull you, you, you all I want. Yeah, these are coming loose too. So it's with enough. With enough heating, they start coming loose. But to fix that, you just epoxy them together, so I don't really see a problem. 
It's trial and error, like I said. So I'm gonna epoxy everything together, one inch washers, four of them together on each side, and you should have a axe that doesn't wobble as much and makes a decent throwing nerf weapon. That's my conclusion. And anyway, I've gone on for far too long about this stuff. And thank you if you managed to make it this far and didn't shut it off straight at the uh, <laughs> at the pain test. Oh uh, well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I will get some more stuff out sooner. And I just lost one of my one of my cameras, so now that's gone. But now I have to buy another one, and I will hopefully get more out soon enough. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.